Today we're going to talk about some of the additional situational awareness graphic uh, capabilities that we have with the system. We're going to kind of drill into something called spark lines, which is basically drilling into the history of uh, some tags, and also something called the polar star, which allows us to compare multiple variables in one quick glance, get a good understanding of what's going on out there in your process. So if we look at an in-touch screen here, we have some variables, process variables simulated coming from the field. You know, as an operator, we can look at that, and maybe a trained operator can understand what's going on with this process. I see a flow, I see a temperature, I see a pressure. He may understand how they interact with each other. He may understand some trends associated with that, those variables. But if we give them some context, give them more information that we learned about in the High Performance HMI Handbook, you know, give them more information. Where did things come from? What are the trends? Where are things going? How do they relate to each other? So I can quickly glance at a screen beyond just looking at a bunch of numbers. If I can quickly glance at a screen, I can visualize what's going on in my process and take some action if I start seeing things out of alignment. I can change my set point. I can bring things back into control before things get totally out of control. So now I'm looking in development mode on the screen that I was looking at in runtime previously. You can see I have the three variables on my screen, but if I want to add some trending capability, I want to add what we call a little spark line, a little snippet of a trend to give an operator a little indication of what's going on with that process, a little history about what's going on beyond just the actual value. The way I would do that, I would browse to my situational awareness graphic library. I would click embed graphics. I would drill down into the trend capabilities and I would pick multi-trend or single trend. I'm going to pick single trend in this case, drop it on my screen, and I would configure those properties. I have a couple of these already developed, so let me drill into those and show you those pre-configured trends to save some time. So drop that on the screen. I basically right-click and say custom properties, and I set my pen. My pen in this case is going to be me.flow. It allows me to, I could go and browse to this, object. I can go browse to the individual object. I can go into the elements. This is browsing into my template and I'm going to pick flow and I say OK and that's configured. I can do the same thing. If I right click custom properties I configure this one for my temperature and I configure this one for my pressure here, me dot pressure. I'm going to save this and we're going to go test it in runtime. Check them in. And I'm going to go to uh, development runtime. So you can see on my screen now, I'm showing a trend of my flow, my temperature, my pressure. It gives the operator a little more indication of what's going on with the process beyond just looking at the value. Something we call high performance HMI, situational awareness, giving the operator enough information beyond just data on the screen to make better decisions. The next item we're going to add to the screen to give operators better visible what's going on is something called a polar star. So if we browse into the orchestra symbol library, uh, situational awareness graphics, I can drill into something called polar stars. And you can see you can choose one, three spokes, four spoke, six spoke. So basically a polar star is a very graphical representation of multiple variables. And as those variables change, you will see the actual shape change. So it gives the operator a very quick glance at the screen. They can see how variables relate to each other. You know, maybe in a normal situation, it's a perfect triangle, like a, a three-star polar star or uh, a six-spoke that they, it's, it's all equal in variables. But uh, if it's out of tolerance, you might see one spoke grow and one spoke shrink depending on the situation. So basically, I just select the variable that I want, I drop it on the screen, and then I configure it. I already have one configured to save some time, so let me delete this. You can see there's a polar star here, so if I right-click on my custom properties, this is where you give it the names of the variable you're going to use for each spoke. So you can see that spoke number one is going to link to my flow variable. Uh, spoke number two is going to be my temperature, and spoke number three is my pressure. I'm going to look at a relationship between all three of those variables and go to get a good glimpse of what's going on with those variables. Also have a, a set point, you know, what's the mean value? What's a normal operating value for each one of those variables? 
you know, there's my set point set for each one of those variables just to normalize this across all three, three different types of variables here. So here we are back at runtime, and you can see my polar star in action. You can see it's moving with my live process data. As the process data moves, the polar star will mimic that data. I can see my values on the top. I can see my little trend lines. You can see it's skewing in one direction. I have a high point on one of the variables. Other points are uh, getting smaller. And you can see the relationship between each one of those variables at a very quick glance. So it's a, just a way for an operator without having to look at each one of those three variables and internalize and say, well, is how do they relate to each other? Is that good? Is that bad? It doesn't really tell you anything. But if you look at a polar star like this situation it's in right now, you know, it's, it's a little bit off the set points. When it's a perfect triangle, that means we're running in an optimal situation. You may never get there exactly, but it shows you the relationship at a very quick glance, how each variable relates to each other. If you have many of these on the screen, an operator can get a quick glance. So right now, it looks like it's a pretty optimized process going on right now. It's pretty close to the set point in all three polar star uh, points there. So it's a good representation of what's going on with those processes out there. And you can see it shrink and grow depending on what's going on with your process. Thanks for watching. Please catch us on the, uh, the site for other great videos out there. Need to learn more about this and other in-source products? Check out our training tracks designed to guide you down your learning path for in-source products. Whether you're using a classic InTouch and Historian architecture or using System Platform, we have a track to help you get the most out of your software investment. To register or learn more, click the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching this in-source video.